Hi Sloths, and welcome to my 14th Let's Play of Plants vs Zombies, specifically the Game of the Year edition on Steam. Now, there was a, a different edition that I would have loved to be able to do, but obviously I, I would need a capture card for that, and that would be uh, the DS version. Now, I actually... Uh, I think the first time I played this game was uh, the free version that you could get on PopCap Games back in the day, uh, before it became, you know, like a really big thing. Uh, and then I played it on DS when it actually came out on DS, because, well, I didn't really have an interest in PC gaming at that time. Um, but obviously now I have the Game of the Year edition, because I don't have the... Um, the original cartridge anymore for the DS and I also don't have a capture card for a DS or anything so obviously we're going to start as a new self I do already have an original uh, save file but I'm not going to be going to that we're going to start new uh, I do want to quickly just go to the achievements and be like you know here's some achievements that I actually do have um, from my uh, original account. I don't know why, but it just carries over. Uh, but I also want to go over some uh, little Easter eggs here. You can see the uh, the bookworm from the bookworm series. Um, I, I think I played that a couple of times. Um, the Bejeweled series right here. Uh, oh, I can't remember what that's called, but I used to love it. It's like this fuzzle. Was it fuzzle? I think it was called fuzzle. Also, uh, <laughs> I kind of upgraded my model a little bit. I now have wink support, so, eh, eh, it's not picking it up very well. <laughs> oh well. Um, then there's Peggle right here with a unicorn. Uh, I've never really played Peggle, I don't think. Uh, then there's just a, a random pipe here. Uh, this, I don't remember the name of, but it's another PopCat Games game series thing. Uh, what else do we have? What else? Uh, we have China. <laughs> uh, I believe there's supposed to be a um, an achievement for that, but obviously it's already carried over, so I don't think we're gonna get a second one. Uh, let's see here. Oh. Apparently not. Oh, I thought there was one. Huh. Interesting. Ah, yeah, there is supposed to be more, like right here, but obviously it's not showing just yet. Uh, so the only thing to do now is we could either go and make our Zombator, or we could start the game. I think we should start the game. <laughs> I love that. I love it. I love this game. Oh, it's so good to just be back playing it and... Plants vs Zombies. Oh boy, look at that. Now, the gimmick for this is going to be that I have a punishment wheel. If I ever lose, I have to spin the punishment wheel. Um, the punishment wheel should be on screen right now. Uh, just so you can see what's on there, but I don't know. Anyway, this is going to be the tutorial sort of stage, so click on a seed packet to pick it up. Yes, the pea shooter. And then place it on the grass. Nicely done. Yes. We're gonna get some sun. Keep on collecting sun. You'll need it to grow more plants. So what's great about this game is it's fun. <laughs> it's a unique take on tower defense games. Uh, it always was. Um, and it's just really, really cartoony and goofy and funny. It's got a, a horror element to it, which, uh, it's like cartoon horror, it's like children's cartoon horror. And that's what I love about games like this, it's that they actually have a little bit of horror that, you know, gets children into the horror genres sort of early. Or at least have an interest in it, or at least maybe desensitize them just a little bit. So things like zombies, not usually very scary, especially in this cartoon series, uh, sort of style. Bloom and Doom Seed Company. I would love to like have a game that's all about the Bloom and Doom Seed Company. I don't know. 
Some flowers give you additional sun, so if you plant uh, one or two of them, they'll give you some more sun. Hey, we got three rows now. So it's like some flowers are an extremely important plant, and they're like, plant it. Plant it now. So that's what we just did. So you can see right there, it just gave us some more sun. We can plant more sunflowers. The more sunflowers you have, the faster you can grow plants. I believe the optimal, optimal strategy for this game is to have at least one row of uh, sunflowers and then the rest can be like attacking stuff, like the pea shooter. So we can go ahead and get the pea shooter. However, that's what I wanted to wait for. I wanted to wait for, to see which uh, lane the zombies were coming from because sometimes you'll place one and <laughs> they'll come at like the top lane or something not in this stage but in other stages because in other stages you'll have a full five rows um so yes oh right there uh you'll get one that like comes at a row uh that you don't have a uh, an attacking plant in like pea shooter or anything um, which is really frustrating because when you have to wait whilst the zombies edge ever so closer to you and it's just like black. So right here you can see that it's doing more damage uh, because there's more of them there. That's that's how games work I, I, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, so Pea shooters, obviously, they're the most basic of uh, attacking plants. They do range damage. Uh, their peas will fly across the entire screen. That that's how that works. Uh, they do like what is it? I think it's supposed to do something like free damage in total. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. There's there's usually like a a damage counter but not in this game I don't think I don't know maybe in the almanac uh, I think there's an almanac in this yeah there's an almanac in this game almanac uh, basically is just it tells you all information about plants and the zombies uh, so you get like little things about them so now we have unlocked the cherry bombs woohoo So, Cherry Bombs uh, blows up all zombies in an area. Now, that's going to be quite interesting. We've got Bucket Heads, uh, not Bucket Heads, we've got Cone Heads now. Cone Heads are basically kind of like double, almost double the strength of uh, regular zombies. I think it's supposed to be like 1.5. Um, whereas uh, a Bucket Head is like 1.75 or something like that. Uh, so, yes. That is how that works. And now we kind of need to hurry up and get some sun so we can finally place a pea shooter. Uh, sometimes uh, zombies will come earlier than you'll expect and it will mess up your entire strategy <laughs> like it just did there. Because uh, my strategy is place uh, sunflowers on all rows, get a bunch of sun going, and then I can start attacking. But of course that isn't quite how it always works out. You'll always need uh, some extra sun so you can buy uh, a an attacking uh, blah, 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 plant. Uh, there's also like single use plants uh, where, like the, uh, the cherry bomb, if you use them, it instantly uses them. And uh, that's it. It, it. It's removed from the field. It doesn't stay after that. So yes, that is indeed a thing. Uh, I'm going to go there. So zombies uh, that are in front can actually block the, um, the attacks for zombies that are coming up. And now this is going to be a difficult one. So that's already taken plenty of damage. But what you need is you need a second one right there. So that it, you know, actually deals more damage, knocks the cone off its head. And then it'll become a regular zombie. That's how uh, zombies like that work. So there's that. And perfectly fine. Two pea shooters. I think in some circumstances, one pea shooter can be enough. But two pea shooters are a lot better. Now, honestly, I don't know if we'll even need like a cherry bomb at this point. 
because we already have <laughs> uh, three pea shooters on the go, um, on all lanes almost. This is the final wave, so you know what I might do? I might see if I can just... There we go. Uh, when they all get like to around here, I will then probably use a cherry bomb and just wipe them out in one go. Like, it's almost time. Like, this is what the cherry bomb is here for. So we'll do that, and boom! We have defense, known as a walnut. <laughs> I love the uh, the designs, not just the designs, but the fact that we've got an entire walnut that's literally a wall right here. So walnuts uh, blocks off zombies and protects your other plants. Okay, here we go. Here's another round. And this is the, I believe, like the last stage of the tutorial sort of stages. Because we now have all five uh, things and we have all five sort of different types of plants. I guess there's also utility plants, but um, that doesn't come until much later. Well, not much later, but a bit later in the game. Um, so there is that. The zombies are indeed coming. So, uh, we could just do that right there. Now, what I'm going to do is, um, once we get some sun going, what I want to do is I want to place a walnut, not here, not here, but here. And the reason for that would be that, um, we have at least, like, three pea shooters to just bombard these zombies. So that's what I want to do. Uh, once I get everything on the go. Ah, uh, yes, that was a good idea. I'm glad I waited because now I can grab that. And then it's not going to be long until I get some more sun and then I can place down another. There we go. Uh, I am exposed here and here, but we have lawnmowers. So the lawnmowers, what will happen is if a zombie actually gets to it, it will just insta kill him. So that's great. We love a good bit of insta-kill. Um, yes, but after that, you're completely exposed and there's nothing else you can do about it. I just realised... Uh, yeah, let's put that there. <laughs> because uh, we don't have anything there. Uh, plants are completely exposed because I have nothing that can damage that. Uh, see, this is where it's going to get a little bit more interesting because... I could do with another plant right there. Uh, obviously, plants have recharges. So you can't just use them straight away uh, once you have enough uh, sun. You gotta wait for a recharge and yeah. Brains. I love the sound effects in this game. Just the constant brains and <laughs> sort of sounds. The groaning. I like the groaning. Um, yes, so what we want to do now is we just want to wait until we get have more sun and then we can pop down. There we go, that's great. That was good timing as well. Do, 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 So I don't really like jazz and stuff like that all that much or the kind of music that's in this game, but the music in this game is brilliant. The, the Plants vs. Zombies soundtrack, the original soundtrack, is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'm surprised at how great it is. I, I, I've i never... <laughs> I don't know. I've never really thought about how good it is. Um, but it really is great. Uh, I don't know where they're coming from now, so I'm just going to place that there and hope to hell it works. Okay, so where they're coming from. Okay, we've got one there, but I want to wait for any possible bucket heads. In fact, no. Let's wipe those out. Yes, and then we can do that. Get a, another zombie on zombie, another pea shooter on the go there to take out that uh, cone head. And yeah, it's a very simple game, but it's so fun. And for this, we get a shovel. So a shovel, uh, it'll explain it to us in a second, but it basically allows us to remove plants. Let's you dig up a plant to make room for another plant. Yay! So here's another little tutorial about that. Greetings, neighbour! 
The name's Crazy Dave. But you can just call me Crazy Dave. Listen, I've got a surprise for you. But first I'll need you to clear your lawn. Use your shovel and dig up those plants. Let the digging commence. Okay, so we get a little tutorial on that and it's just like, there you go. Oh goody, now for the surprise. We're going bowling. This is a really fun little game. Uh, here, take this walnut. Why'd I put a walnut in your hand? Because I'm crazy. Now go, bowl me a winner. So this is <laughs> walnut bowling. Um, I love this game. You basically just uh, launch walnuts at things. Uh, they do bounce off, so that's kind of cool because it can ricochet into other zombies. You didn't see that right there. Right there is an exploder knot, which you can only find in these uh, mini games right here. Uh, we should probably use that right there. Just take out that guy there. Boom. I love this song. This song is called Loon Boon. I don't know what a Loon Boon is, but I love it. <laughs> Uh, sometimes you have to be really quick because sometimes it gets really hard. Um, these occur every now and then in the main game, but I think there's actually like uh, a proper mini game for it as well. Uh, cone heads obviously take two. And you did just see a, a little bit of a ricochet right there. So we want to just do that real quick. Uh, not getting many ricochets. Um, there is an achievement for getting like a bunch of ricochets. That was a pretty good one uh, in a row, but obviously uh, it's not as easy as that. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, an exploded knot. Great. Good timing. Uh, I think I probably just used that a little bit too uh, soon because there's a huge like mob of them right here. Best to go from that there. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I can't believe I didn't get that one. Okay, so this is a little bit more of a tricky one because now they're getting harder and harder. And they're getting closer and closer and you just need to hope to hell you manage to get rid of some of them. Uh, and maybe even weaken the, uh, the zombies as well. Because these uh, cone heads uh, can be a little bit irritating sometimes. Okay. I could do with an exploder knot, please. Yes. Uh, gonna throw you there. There we go. That was a good, that was a good uh, choice on my part. Here we go. We have another seed. We have... P the potato mine. Okay, explodes on contact, but takes time to arm itself. Now we could either go to the next level or the main menu. I'm gonna go to the main menu because I think that this is gonna be enough. We've actually taken on the like the tutorial stages and stuff. Uh, we've played a little bit of uh, bowling, <laughs> walnut bowling. And I think we're gonna end this thing off with the Zombitar. So there's a lot of like, an entire like agreement thing so let's just accept it so here's a portrait of our zombie so what kind of zombie are we going for i think we should go for oh i like that one yeah hair should we give it <laughs> should we give it some hair oh no i hate that so much ew ew okay uh i believe that's um Basically, the, like the Yeti hair as well. <laughs> that looks silly. Uh, no, we're going for a silly one. I'm going to go for that one. And we can have it... Oh, we're going to have this like orangey hair. Yes. Facial hair. We're not going to give it facial hair. Tidbits. So we could have like uh, a thing coming out that's eye and worm. Uh, that's a tattoo. That's a cool tattoo. We're going to go with that one. Eyewear. Um, yeah, we're not gonna go. Wait. <laughs> that's so silly. Oh, that that's very techno. Uh, no, no. We're gonna go with that one. That one's funny, I think. Clothes. Uh, no, no. 
So the clothes uh, only affect the actual portrait and not the um, avatar itself, which is kind of annoying, uh, but I can understand why that is. Uh, we're going to go for this sort of like <laughs> spite uh, metal sort of outfit. Uh, that says I heart brains. That's kind of cool, but we're going to go for this one. Uh. Uh, yawn. Accessories. Golden teeth. <laughs> We're gonna go completely uh, metal right here. Are those earrings? Oh, it's a shame you can't add like more than one thing, but we're gonna take that. Uh, hats. Um, <laughs> nah, I don't think we're gonna. <laughs> That's so dumb, I love it. You could even have that. I'm gonna take that and we're gonna go with. Oh, we can go. Nah. I, I think no colour of a black and white one probably works best. Uh, backdrop, we're going to go with just that one. In fact, no, we're going to go with the nighttime one. <laughs> I'm finished. This this is my Zombatar. Uh, so Zombatars, obviously, you get them as like these flag uh, zombies. Uh, so yes. Warning, are you sure you're done creating your Zombatar? If you wish to make any changes after you click finished below, you'll need to start over. Wait, I'm not done. Oh, hold on. Let me have it finished. Okay, your Zombitar has been saved to your desktop as a JPEG image file. Oh, this game is so old. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. We have it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, you can have another yawn there. So, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you continue to enjoy this series. I'm going to have fun with it. I know that. Anyway, please like and subscribe. It's always free. And I'll see you later.